What is up YouTube, I'm Royal, I'm rank 1 Wild Rift and today we're testing out the new AP items on Zoe and of course the new rune arcane comment. So to quickly run you through the build, we're gonna be taking Luden Zeko as our rushed item and then building Horizon Focus and of course Infinity Orb. Horizon Focus is such an insane item on Zoe, increasing her damage by 12% on her basic combo. And then we're going to be capping it with, of course, the new buffed Rabadon's Death Cap and probably crown, crown, but there's some flexibility. We could go Ocean Strident or Marilla Nomicon. For runes, of course, we're going to be taking the new Mage Rune Arcane Comet. We're going to be combining that with Hex Flash, which is such an underrated rune. Very, very strong rune right now. It's pretty much, it's pretty much half a flash when your flash is not up. Then we're going to be taking Transcendence and Nimbus Cloak. That works super well with her second ability. Finally, we'll be taking Bone Plating to keep ourselves safe. Let's jump straight into the gameplay. So the season is about to end and we're actually in the Sovereign game. We have the rank 4 Sovereign player in our team. So this is a pretty high low game. I mean, as high as you can get in a Wild Drift normal ranked, right? So this is not versus bad opponents. I see a lot of you in the comments being like, Oh, you only play versus bad players, this is why you perform so well. Well, it won't be the case this time. So Zoe is definitely one of my favorite champions. I think I'm one of the best Zoe's. Mostly because I had a lot of experience with her from PC League. So I already know how to play her very well. And we're playing versus Fizz, which is actually a pretty hard matchup for us. So if you guys are struggling versus assassins like Fizz when you're playing mages, this is going to be a great game for you. So I'm going to immediately just all attack him, all attack him. Every time he walks up for a no attack on a minion, I'm going to be all attacking him and poking him. And that's our first comet. Actually, did that hit? I'm not even sure if the comet hit. Okay, it looks like he's recalling level 1, which means that we did a great job with the poke. So what's awesome about the new comet, uh, comet rune is that it stacks. The more comets you hit, the more the next one is going to do. Even though I don't think it's a substantial amount of damage. Oh. I auto aim that and unfortunately hit the minion instead of going into the fizz. He's only level 1, so again, we're gonna try and poke him as much as possible. He's level 2 now, so he might look for a play. Oh, I'm gonna need to flash away. But we do get Kane's flash. And we also get the ignite from fizz. So this isn't too bad. It's a fine trade for us. And fizz super low HP, and we still have our ignite up. So overall, it's not bad. We just have to be super careful because he still has his flash up, I think. Actually. I'm pretty sure he uses level 2, so maybe he doesn't. Okay, so this is a little trick. We're gonna wait out of vision and use our Sleepy Trouble Bubble to hit him when he goes for the minion. Oh no, he dodged it. Okay, he should still go down though. We can just chase him down. We have Hex Flash too. Oh, now he flashed. Okay, we use our Hex Flash to follow and then Flash to pick up the first blood. So yeah, he didn't use his Flash beforehand. And we're able to escape the No Flash Cane as well. Cute little trick, waiting outside of vision, waiting for him to go for the minion and using my sleepy trouble bubble. He could not react in time. I think my, yeah, my flash and hex flash are so bugged right now. This is a weird bug. Like it's not impacting the gameplay, but visually my hex flash is on my second ability now. It looks like I have a flash when I don't. I wonder if the enemies can see that because that could be an advantage. They could think I have a flash when I don't. Oh. Fizz going in on us. We're gonna do a little bit of poke, but we don't have our first ability up yet. Oh, Aatrox actually here for a gank. I wasn't paying too much attention. Aatrox is gonna be able to finish him off. Oh, and Kane is going on me. Okay, he's waiting for the last second, so I'm gonna ult into the turret so I can take him under turret with me. Good gank from um, Cosmic Soul, the rank 4 player. Good gank. And now we can pick up a stasis as well. He helped me push in the wave. Well played. Very good macro from him. I definitely needed help pushing that wave, right? Because I would not be able to push it by myself in time. And then if Fizz would get back to lane. So very good job to assist me in pushing the wave. And we have a massive 1k gold lead already. And we have 4 stacks of our arcane combat. I'm going to be building the new items. And I'm just going to be dominating this game. Okay. Getting good poke on him. Again, we want to poke him as much as possible. We do have stasis now, so we're pretty safe. Could look for a kill here. Unfortunately, Kane is here, but I'm just going to pick up Fizz, and I still have stasis to block his damage. Okay. I have Hex Flash, though. I'm going to Hex Flash out, get the plant, and we are safe. 
This is why Hex Blast is so good, by the way, creating a little gap so he can't uh, be on me anymore, he can't use his spells and no attacks on me anymore. Massive difference. And that's the 2v1 play. We're already dominating this laning phase. And I'm gonna pick up another stasis. We've been blessed by the bubble gods. Unfortunately, you see this bug, right? I'm pretty sure everyone's having this bug because I've seen a few people mention it. But when you try on the shop to buy something, like you can't buy the item. You have to press it like multiple times for some reason. I'm sure you guys have a lot of bugs lately in Wild Drift. I have two big bugs that I'm experiencing right now. He actually uses the shark on us, but we have stasis. Oh, he's trolling. Oh. Oh. What is going on? <laughs> he kind of gave up, but my like didn't kill him and I need another one. Maybe he could have lived if he got the plant in time. But the stasis blocked out his ult damage, and we hit the sleepy trouble bubble. We're just so far ahead that we're just punishing him. So if you guys are wondering how we got to this situation right i did a great job poking him and not giving him situations which can all end me right we played to our power specs and our win conditions which is poking him down and keeping him low hp and avoiding getting all in by the fizz and now he's simply too far behind so even if he wants to go i mean he can still probably one shot me because he's playing fizz but now he's so far behind that I can dictate the pace of the lane. I can choose one to push the wave, one to freeze the wave, and there's not much he can do. I just have to make sure I don't get hit by his shark, and I should be fine. I can probably roam bot here. I'm coming, I'm on my way. Stay alive, Bloodscreen. Sleepy trouble, Bubble. Pick up the barrier. The bubble missed. Great! First to build the ulti, though. We're gonna pick up the Sona, and probably the Kane. Gonna flash after him. With his own flash. Yeah, you can never flash away from Zoe because he can always pick up your flash and chase you down. Good roam. Good double kill. And again, I pushed in my wave. I had a timing window and I'm like, okay, now I can roam. I found a good opportunity bot lane. And we're going to be picking up another double kill. Pushing the wave. And now get some turret platings while my jungler picks up the dragon. We're absolutely dominating this game. Me and this uh, Aatrox are so far ahead. But of course, we also need to make sure that we close out cleanly because their late game is strong. Okay, we got a lot of platings here. Oh, we hit a Sleepy Trouble Bubble. I don't have enough damage yet, but that was quite a bit of poke. And again, some crazy poke. Good poke by the Blitzkrieg too. We can dive her. Oh, I'm taking turret. Yeah, I can probably still chase. I'm in the middle of both of them. Good job, Blitzcrank. All third ability. Perfectly executed from the young Zoe player. That was really clean. I'm kind of looking if uh, Blitzcrank hits a hook. I can just immediately bubble. Nah, it looks like it's playing too safe. We'll just go base. We'll pick up for Horizon Focus, the new item that makes Zoe so strong. And then we're gonna work towards our Infinity Orb as well. Okay, my team is just way overextended. Maybe I can help the Blitzcrank. Got some decent poke out there, but I need to be careful. Oh, she just walked straight into my first ability. I still need to be a little careful from any random fizzles that might happen. Because again, with Zoe, while, while you can be super, super fat, you're very squishy. And your mobility is very limited. Because you need summoner spells to get your mobility with your second ability. And your ultimate, of course, you always go back, right? So that there's not a lot of ability, of mobility there. Good poke. Fizz actually hit the Sleepy Trouble Bubble, but I'm not gonna chase that. Oh, Aatrox is actually fighting. Maybe I can flank? Oh, they didn't walk into it. I'm just gonna push mid turret here while they're busy doing whatever in the jungle. Getting some good damage to the mid turret. Maybe I can poke Fizz. Oh, he's being very careful. And again, with Zoe, your main goal is to poke, look for picks with your... Sleepy Trouble Bubble and keeping yourself safe. Your positioning is so important because you're such an easy to take down champion. The Garen is way overextended. Just need to hit the bubble here. Oh, he flashed it. I can probably chase. There's two flashes here. Chase to get the Garen. I'm going to go pick up the other flash as well. 
Okay, I need to kite back. Oh, I hit the sleep on the Sona. And now we're able to pick up the cane as well. We're 10, 0, and 5. We're absolutely dominating this game. We're going to pick up an inhibitor before minute 9. 8 minute inhibitor. We're being a little greedy here. We probably want to base. I just need a little bit of gold. Oh, she actually got hit by the sleepy trouble bubble. Oh, I didn't drop the ignite. No. Oh, that's a disaster. That could have been another free kill. Oh, and that would have given him enough gold for my oblivion orb. How annoying is this Garen? And I'm missing my comet on him, so I'm not even getting comet stacks. He actually ignited us. He's super tanky, by the way. And that's the thing, when you play mages, he actually ulted me. I can't do can't believe it. Oh, and flash out. No more games need to get out. <laughs> oh, maybe? Oof, not in range. I, I did not want to be in range of his ultimate, right? So I, I had to do that max range, but unfortunately I was not in range. Yeah, that's the, the thing with Zoe, though. You can't really do much against tanks like Garen, right? You don't have the consistent DPS that you need to take him down. So even though he's 1-6, I can't do anything to him. I need my team to help me out with him. That's the weakness of mages, right? They get hard countered by tanks. And bruisers, kind of, depending on how fed the bruiser is and how much magic resist they have. But we're going to be able to pick up our third item, our Oblivion Orb. So now we have all the new, I the two new items, or at least buffed items. And we're going to be doing some insane damages. And now we can build towards the new death cap. That's so good in the late game. Increasing your AP by 55% is crazy. Can I look for something? Oof, the one shot on the Fizz. He's in this bush, isn't he? Ah, we're not able to hit it. Let's be super careful here, because he can one-shot us, by the way. Kane, blue Kane especially. Does so much damage. So again, we're playing cautiously, right? That's how I have zero deaths. We're playing to our limits, but again, we're being very cautious when we know that the enemy champions can't take us down. Oh, I need to get out of here. I still have my Hex Flash, so I'm fine. Oh, he just... Yeah, Blue Cane is just so broken, man. Like, what can I do against that? Okay, my team can clean up at least, because they they overextended quite a bit for that. While my team was, like, near Dragon. Okay, Aatrox. Let's see the rank 4 mechanics. Oof, not bad, not bad. And we should be able to secure the dragon. They actually changed Blasting One. They nerfed Blasting One by 5 AP when it was already a pretty weak item compared to Amplifying Tomes. So I definitely recommend just stacking Amplifying Tomes now instead of uh, instead of getting Blasting One. But instead I'm going to take Stasis because you see the damage that Blue Cane does and Fizz do. The Stasis is already overdue to be honest. When the enemies have like two Assassins... You definitely need to be going stasis, especially because I need to be able to dodge Kane ultimate and I need to be able to dodge Fizz ultimate as well, right? That's some good poke. Oh, and this is where the stasis is gonna come in clutch. Probably need to flash away though, I'm very overextended, this is my bad. No one is around me and I'm overextending versus two assassins. It's a bit of a misplay from me, so I'm gonna have to waste both my flash and my stasis here. I do get the blue Kane ultimate though. Oh, maybe I can look for some poke. Oh, oh no, I've missed everything. <laughs> and that's the problem with Zoe. Like, if you don't hit your abilities, no matter how fed you are, you won't be useful. So you have to constantly hit your abilities. This looking like a good fight for us. I can poke from the side. Oof, good poke on the Garen. Maybe he'll die to ignite. Wait, my ignite go on Samira instead? Oh, I think he went on Samira. I don't know if we're able to win here, we don't really have the main wave for it. Oh, I just missed everything, I'm just all attacking him to death. Okay, Hex Flash out. We're doing some damage to him, just slow. Oh, that blue cane damage, I'm gonna be running away from him. I, wanna, I need to pop his uh, Edge of Night so I can Sleepy Trouble Bubble him. Oh, he's coming for me. Okay, we popped it, and there's a sleepy trouble bubble. Stop running towards me, man. Oh, no, Karen blocked it. Oh, oh no, this is a bad fight. I'm just gonna go in for this, Amira. Okay. Yeah, I knew I would die for that, but I'm pretty sure I would die anyway, so I'm like, I'm just gonna go in for this, Amira, get one back. 
Because I think with Sona and Garen, they would just chase me forever. And I wouldn't be, like, they would definitely get me. Yeah, <laughs> Blitzkrieg is like, I tried, bro. You did well, my king. You did well. Yeah, we're absolutely dominating this game, though, so... Once I respawn, we're just gonna play around Baron, play around the third dragon win condition. I see a lot of players getting really cocky in this point in the game and throwing the game. You don't need to be going for any intense plays. All you need to do at this point is just overwhelm them with minions on the open inhibitors. Pick up the key objectives. Like you saw, Fizz and Kane are both topside trying to clear those minions. My team is able to just go to Baron. They don't have any vision. They're gonna have to face check into us. Probably make sure that we kill Kane before we do the Baron, or it's a little risky. Hello, Garen. Oh, where's my sleepy trouble bubble going? Up oh, there's Kane. He walked in with no vision to try and do the Baron. And of course, Blitzkrieg was able to CC him and take him down. My positioning in this fight is a bit weird. Samira is just going on me. Why isn't no one focusing Samira? Hello? There we go. Oh, Aatrox is chasing, so I'll chase with him. I don't think there's much I can do here. Maybe flash sleepy trouble bubble. Oh, it doesn't hit. Uh, maybe we can end. Only Fizz is alive. Oh, and he's in things, so. I've missed everything, but I'm still doing a bit of damage with my old attacks. My empowered old attack with my ultimate. And yeah, we should be able to win here if I just hit the Nexus. Oh. Oh no! Yeah, by the way, I don't have flash. I don't know why that's bugged like that, but I didn't have flash there. But we're still able to win because this guy's chasing me down while Nas sends the game. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment below which new item you think is the most broken. Leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe for more Wild Rift content.